Hello and welcome to another live coding session. Last week we got a good UI for the crafting system and this week I think I'm going to make it where we can actually use the axe to cut down trees. But before we get into that, we have two new pull requests this week and I've merged both of them and I want to show those off. First off we have uh, migrating to Bevy 0.7 which is a very exciting update to Bevy and an inventory system rework as well as some better error, error handling. So let me show off the error handling. We now have type for or strut for game errors and an enum for game error types. And then we can just print those out. So I might try out using some of that today live. And the inventory system, he actually, or they actually left the old code here. And we have a new, hopefully easier to use system that uses the new errors to detect if like an item isn't in the inventory when you try to take it. So I hope that will work out well and be very useful to us. And the other big change that I'm very excited about is we now have art. So we've got pixel art for the game that's actually much, much better than what the placeholder art looked like. And here's the sheet. It was done by Sal on the Discord. And I'm very grateful to them for what they worked on. And I guess I can show it off in game because they even got it rendering in the game for us. So player doesn't animate because I don't even have the code for that, but it looks great. We have different sprites for the saplings when you pick them and when they're in the inventory. I might actually need to do a backdrop for the inventory. We also have better inventory outlines better axe that we can craft. We have trees now, uh, the flint, yeah. And I think the sheet even has berries and pine cones. Oh, and wood and cut wood. Oh, and a shovel. And tree growth stages. I guess just two. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting things that I hope we can do with this. So I'm, I'm very grateful for all the work this took. And I think they said it was their first time contributing to a project. So I hope it was an enjoyable experience. So I guess the first thing I want to do is from all the pull requests, we've got some Clippy complaints. Uh, active is on the sprite for the crafting box. And I think I want to be always, I want to gray out items you can't craft. So I wonder if I can do that easily. Let me see if I, I guess I'll just get started working on that. And I'm gonna move crafting to a run file today. So the crafting plugin, okay. I'm, I'm getting, taking my moment to get orientated in the code. I'm also in a new house. So if a cat comes over and jumps on my desk or if dogs come up and harass me, I apologize. I'm house sitting for someone. So the audio might also be a bit different. Okay. Oh, also, I think the inventory system had a bug because we're now supposed to have, I think this is in implementing a cap on the number of items we can have. And I, I tried to look at this code on the pull request and I don't see anything obviously wrong with it. And it's a good start on the system. It just doesn't seem to actually work when I tested it out or I might be misunderstanding its purpose. So a system for crafting box active. So let's just get started. Uh, oh, I should be collapsing stuff. I've also went with a slightly smaller font size this week and I hope that's okay. It just makes it a bit easier to work with because I'm not at my desk. Okay, give me a second. Vim controls are not reacting well to the folds. So this is uh, crafting UI graying sure and what I need is a query for the crafting UI and what I need here is I'm gonna mutate the texture atlas sprite I wish there was a generic and Bevy um, sprite versus texture atlas sprite component 
Ampersand mutate. And let's see, does this have any connection? It has a, a U size connection. So I guess I also need the crafting book. So I'll just get the crafting box. Actually, crafting box. Uh, am I going to regret this? So what I'm thinking about doing is just making this only react to changes in the crafting box and then a separate system to actually update it. This is probably over-engineered, but it's not wrong. It's probably more like ECS design focused, but I don't think it'll perform as well as just combining it all because of the, the function overhead or the system overhead. So I want to do it when the crafting box has changed. Okay. And so I want to for uh, mutable sprite, uh, sprite and box, ah, uh, crafting box. Gotta love keywords in crafting UI dot intermute and here if crafting box is active hmm sprite dot what do we have on the texture atlas sprite just color hmm oh we have anchors now Oh, and the, uh, I guess I can also show that off. Our sprites description now also uses uh, the new anchoring system. For example, for the trees and grass. So, and those should be reasonably placed if I understood the Discord messages right. Sprite dot color equals color gray. Uh, it's not color G R A Y. Uh, I guess I'll spell it A Y. I actually don't know which one I'm supposed to be using as an American. I've lived my whole life on the internet, so I've seen both. And else, I think the default color is just white. Or is it none? Okay. And what is this upset about? Oh, because it's not crafting. Oh, it's, it is crafting UI. Not borrow is mutable. I agree. Uh, let's just add a query to the, ah whatever. I've always added query to the end, but that's I don't know redundant. It's just helpful when I'm about to rename stuff, but I guess it's not required. And let's add this as a system. Add system crafting a oh, self. Crafting, UI, graying. Very descriptive. I don't know if I have inspectable on. Oh, I also want to clean up the hierarchy here. So, I also don't want to have my UI be the child of the camera. I need to make it inspectable. So I think I might also, it's on the list to change it over to using Bevy's UI because I've literally just invented Bevy's UI from scratch. Hmm. What was I doing? Ah, inspectable. Inspectable. Import. And register it. Dot register inspectable. Crafting box, not book, but box. Probably also the book one day, but box. Sure. What are you not happy about? Method is not found. Try using it. Fair enough. Beautiful. Okay, and now on the camera, 
crafting box, active. And active. Okay, it's reversed, and it doesn't cover the whole um, sprite. It's only the box. So, give me a second to change how I have my mic set up. Okay. Um, I guess I could also gray out the contents. Also, that fire is a little big for the box. I guess if I grayed out the contents, it would also work. How hard have I made it to get the contents of a box? I guess I should check that just here. So the crafting box has a child that is also a sprite. So let's get the children. Um, uh, box, children. And here I also want to get your children. And this will get, I wonder if this is gonna have query conflicts, isn't it? Um, so children. And then for child and children. I'm blanking on how to use this, but I think I remember. And let's move this up top and change it to white and gray. And then for the children, I want to do box children that get uh, star child. Okay, let's sprite equal that, which I've already finished using the sprite above, so that's not a problem. And we'll just copy and paste the code. Before I get fancier, but you know how it is. And if what? Okay, sprite. Because who knows if we'll have children in the future. So let's just be good citizens about it. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to get lazy, even though I have. Um, I know there are people who will clean up my code, which is a very strange feeling. But I really am grateful that so many people have decided they want to contribute to this project. So that's a query conflict, if I have to guess. So we can probably get away with just doing without crafting book or crafting box. Yeah, I'm very grateful for how many people have decided they want to contribute to this project. It's I, I'm shocked this has turned into a community thing. So I cannot craft the axe, and I don't know why I thought that was going to update because I haven't wrote that code. But if I go to the crafting box, make it active. That's pretty good. So now, uh, crafting active update should be a good system. And I probably need all of this again. Why, oh, hold on. And here I just need to mutate the crafting box, I think. I think that's the only other component on it I could care about. So let's clean this up and see if I've messed up in my copying and pasting. Do I have format? I do. What are you? Oh, same name. Uh, crafting UI or crafting UI active. Uh, I need to come up with like a better naming scheme for systems, but it's not a problem now. And so here I'm gonna need the recipes. Recipe query, which I. I think the recipe book is just one entity or one component on one entity that's on the player if I had to guess um or is it a resource ah it's a resource that makes much more sense that's what I was about to change uh, so recipe book which is the resource recipe book Recipe book. 
that not actually what it's called? Do, do, do. What if I called it? Crafting book. Mm, I guess that's fine. So the crafting book. And then I think I'm also going to need the player's inventory. So how do I get the player's inventory? So inventory query. I just got the bad itch in my brain to make this a multiplayer game, but that's uh, way out of scope. Uh, so I need the query for... I guess just inventory. I would assume there's only one inventory in the world. Does that mean it doesn't need to be a component? Arguably. But I think that's just... Uh, okay, so if it wasn't a component... Hmm. What would that change? Honestly, the whole the player itself doesn't need to really ever be an entity. If there's ever only going to be one of something, just make it a resource. It just doesn't feel right with like the um like theory of ECS design. But functionally, I don't see why it wouldn't work. All right. Anyway, so uh, what inventory equal inventory dot single dot unwrap it's only for one inventory mm, actually I might want to put inventories on uh, like boxes and stuff so let's let's be adults inventory query with player I just do like create prelude. All of it, probably. Oh, I think I've read the pull request. The world objects have also changed. So I should probably go peek at what those changes are. Cannot find method in inventory inventory. Oh, because single just hard crashes. Just panics. Yeah, that's the unwrap for me. So I have the inventory, and I think it's now inventory.cancraft. Hmm. There's a function here. Can remove. I guess let me just get rid of all this crap. I probably could have done that with the merge request, but you know, live and learn. Um, spawn UI. I swear there's something about crafting in here. Maybe crafting has something about uh, can craft. Can craft. Takes the inventory and the recipe. Oh, that's exactly what we need. So it's just can craft. I guess doesn't, I don't know. It's a good free floating function, I guess. So for uh, UI box, for mutable UI box in crafting UI dot iter mute. I wanna know if I can craft that in the crafting book, um, what is, it's like dot recipes, dot recipes of the UI boxes index. Oh, it's also a windstorm going on. If you can hear the whole house shaking around me. So if, or, okay, so I just need to set active equal to that. So UI box dot active equals can craft this. And what, you need to borrow? Oh, hello. And then if I just add that as a function, I think that might just work. I'm always shocked when things just work. Uh, what did I just call this nonsense? Crafting UI active. Oh, 
and let's see how easy it is to add a new uh, feature. So, pick up. That's not right. Hmm. Hmm. What is happening? So if I pick up either, it's working. So I think can craft is incorrect. All right, so recipe needed. I think it's all gonna be my guess. Just glancing at it. Because I need all of them, not any, to be able to craft. Pick up, pick up, craft. Pick up a couple of these. Pick up that. I love the new art so much. Need to increase the player's hand. Okay, yeah, that's working great. Hmm. What all has changed in all of this? Oh, um, a cargo format in Clippy. Also something I should have done before merging. Uh, let's just add all this format and um, UI box graying just to get to a clean slate. Let's also now go back to settling our clippy issues. Sure, I'll just do exactly what you say. Actually, let's be uh, dangerous. Why don't we? Can I type in a terminal here? Cargo fix. Okay. Clippy. Are you still upset? What do you? Uh, cargo fix Clippy. That feels dangerous, doesn't it? Uh, cargo Clippy fix. No. Whatever. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but. It's telling me what to type, so I might as well just do it. Hmm. So this... Take me back where I just was, please. Thank you. It's saying... Why do we clone... Oh, this function is just... Actually doing the remove on a clone. Uh, so this should just be dot. It's none. Because remove now returns a result. Hmm. Wait. Oh, this is the one it wants me to use the matches macro for. Can't say I've ever used this macro, but. Or whatever. What are you? What are you not happy about? I did what you told me to do. Expected bull found nothing. Oh, fair enough. And then this is uh, thought is none. How sophisticated of Clippy. Seems to work. Clippy is happy. I'll uh, just make a commit here saying Clippy. I'm going to try to get into making more small commits. Hmm. So, oh, I also want to clean up. Let me find where items are being spawned. Oh, we have a function on world object now to spawn. It returns back the entity. Okay, this is a good start. Where are we going? Okay, this feels like a good place to be. Ah, spawn test objects. So, let's do, let's create test equals vec. Uh, let me try to remember how to do this. Default. I guess. 
probably new. Um, test dot push all of that. Do, do, do. Horrific. So is it new? Is it empty? Is it uh, time to Google? Rest effect new. New. Lowercase n. This is incredibly unhappy. Cannot borrow is mutable. I agree. Uh, formatting. Uh, formatting. Sure. Oh, and does this function put puts everything at zero? Z. Huh. I guess it's fine. And then commands dot spawn bundle. Use our new transform bundle, which I didn't mention in the tutorial. I don't think. Uh, just default. Lowercase d. And add push children which is going to take this thing, which is just going to be called children. What are you not happy about, Clippy? Oh, I don't know if I agree with that one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. So let me just do a... Um, what? How do I do that? Uh, allow Clippy... What do you... It's not going to tell me now because I put trash here. Um, allow Clippy vec init, then push. Sometimes I disagree with Clippy. I'm sure as I get older, I'll just agree with it more. Hmm. Okay, let's see if that actually cleaned up our entire hierarchy. Um, oh, beautiful. I'm gonna name that, but that looks much more usable. Name it. Uh, name, new, uh, test objects. With an extra parentheses. Okay, so we now have that cleaned up. Let's see. I do want to change the pick upables. Item as pick up. Okay. It grows into. Dog is freaking out downstairs. Um So I guess I want the player to be able to hold the axe that we've crafted. What should that look like? So, okay, the dog has now found a toy. Sorry, I'm probably more distracted than anyone watching. Um, let's see. If I have an axe, do I want a slot here that is the player's hands? Do I want to position that 
in a set place on screen? Or do I want to continue with my hand-built flex box and just put it off to the side? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think the ordering of the campfire and the box here is non-deterministic because they're all at zero, if I had to guess. Um, that's one thing I wish there was a way in Bevy to detect non-deterministic things. What does it mean to hold an ax? I guess we just start coding. We'll give the player hands. So the player has a component called hands. Uh, pub, strut, hands. I'll give you a, a left hand and a right hand. Okay, now what in the world is a hand? I'm programming here by creating types, not code, but I think it's fine. So a hand I, is an optional entity. Option tool. Let's just do left hand for now. Tool. 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 So a world object can be an item. Where is item type defined? Or it could be a tool. And you can only have tools in your hand. Or I guess tools will also cover weapons. So an axe is a tool. The axe is the only tool. So, uh, I kind of want, I know it's not traditional, but I want all of this at the top just so I can, this honestly needs to be in its own, uh, module or something, just the, the enums. Uh, so now you can also have a tool, which has a tool. Why is inspectable default not bound? I need to implement the default tool. Sure. Uh, default tool. Do I need that? Why? Default's not implemented for tool. But world object has default implemented on it. Yeah, sure, whatever. Simple default for tool. Oh no, copying and pasting. Which is going to return back tool axe. Hope that never comes back to hurt me. So now, uh, prelude here. going to include tool. And here, I'm just going to use all of the prelude. And what are you not happy about? Produces. I don't know. Uh, produces tool. Ah, but produces can only produce items. Correct? Where's recipe defined? Ugh, I hate putting components or definitions at the bottom. Move all these to the top. So it produces an item type or a tool? Okay, what does it mean to be... Is a tool an item type? It is. So do I go that deep into the hierarchy? 
Hmm. I guess a tool is an item. So it could be a, a tool. 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 That is um, getting to be horrific. Because you now have world object, of item type, tool, of axe, but I can't imagine we'll go much deeper in the hierarchy there. Item type tool. Okay. So, I guess also in the sprite description, we're going to need to make it a tool. Tool. Oh, good grief. Um, make sure it all still works. Tool. Just saying tool to myself. Oh, I think, did he add, or did they add padding? They did. Um, so what do we, what do we have next? So we now can produce a tool. The player can now have a tool in their hand. Okay, we need to give this component to the player. Let me make it inspectable. I did. Let me register the type of hands. Hmm. Hi. Right. Uh, player creation. Insert hands. Uh, default. Uh, default Which means you'll have nothing in your hands when you start Okay Sorry, I'm thinking a big think for this right now So hands Probably only ever gonna have you use one hand um, I mean, maybe you'll have a shield or something if this turns into a game of combat. I don't know. So that's probably needless complexity at this point. So player pickup looks for you to use space to pick up items. And I want to walk to the nearest one day. So, what does it mean to pick up item? Player use tool. Is that the system I need? So I guess the tree needs the tree needs to know that it needs an axe to cut it down. So let's go ahead and. This is the thing where you don't actually pick up a twig. So it's not pick upable. Let's add a new thing, harvestable. And then harvestable will come with a tool. Harvestable. Which will give you an item. It'll drop a world object. Uh, it will also need tool required. Tool which will be an optional tool. And so let's see what we have done now. So you, where is this called? If let some pick up, pick up a full insert when you spawn. 
Ah, so this is just the finding all of these things is pick upable. So let's also do as harvestable as a uh, harvest. Sure. Match self. Let's see. World object. Ah, okay. So this is creating the dictionary, or I guess acting as a dictionary of world type to what it actually can be. Uh, so harvestable, and this is going to give some harvestable. Uh, tool will be none for sapling. Right. What are you displeased with? Tool required. I guess required is redundant. So grass doesn't need a tool. Tree needs a tool. Tree needs tool axe. An item is not harvestable. Hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. Harvestable and harvestable. And then, oh, some tool. And then these, turns item. Hmm. If self dot as harvestable is some, Return none. I guess if you're harvestable, you're not pick upable. So this is uh this crushes this janky, but it will work. And now pick up drops. Okay, so now when we go to pick up the item. When we go to pick up an item, we shouldn't drop anything. We just despawn it. So let's let's remove this for now. Hmm. I'm gonna duplicate a lot of code if I end up doing this the way I think I am. Ah. <sighs> This doesn't need to be named placeholder graphics still, does it? This is now just graphics. Delish. Player harvest. Player pickup. So it could be pick upable or it could be harvestable. I think Bevy has an option for that. Um, queries. Ooh, is this a seven cheat book? Ooh, it's been updated. In the meantime, oh, this is my first time seeing the new book. New to Buffy, gets guided tutorial. Next step, Buffy tips, advanced criteria. Oh, this is actually uh, pretty nice. Um, how interesting. I'll have to go through this new book. Uh, actually, it looks like there's a lot more here if I remember right. Ooh. Oh, and I wonder if this mouse thing has been updated. Render target. Oh, it has. Cool. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by this. Queries. Uh, components of entities. Associated. Bundles. 
filters. Multiple filters can be combined using or. Uh, let's do an option, I guess. It's horribly janky, what this will do. Option, uh, harvestable. And then we want to do with, it's or, probably. With, uh, pick up a bowl. with harvestable, if I had to guess. Uh, parentheses in the right place. Let's see what's not happy. I think I forgot probably this closing bracket. Not found in this scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Mm. Couple harvestable. Now, what are we not happy about? Pickable. That's not a word. Or. Tell me how to use this. I'm at tuple. Entity or change. Change. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good grief. This takes a tuple. This is an intense query. Component is not implemented. For option pick upable. But it is implemented for option of a reference to a component. Right? Specter to pull phone. Oh, okay. We've done it. Uh, pick up harvest. That's horrifying. Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking through my thoughts. I guess this is a, a relatively bad life coding session. It's taken me a long time to learn that I need to be saying what I'm thinking as I code. So, we now have this nightmare of a query. And, just hope everything kind of worked. Pick up and count. So, I guess here's where we branch. I wonder if there's an exclusive or um, in Bevy. I guess that's mm. okay. So I'm I'm hard assuming assuming anything with pickup is never harvestable. Uh, how to enforce these components? are mutually, mutually exclusive components. That's close enough. It's because I don't want anything to ever be both pick upable and harvestable. That would be a bug. And I don't know how to enforce that. I'm sure there's a way, but it's it'd be a bit more sophisticated than I want to get into right now without just, you know, cavemaning it with a, a system to scream in pain if you ever add both. Sir, oh, I don't have the book open anymore. That's not important. All right, so if let some pickup equal pickup. So if for a pickup, then we will pick up and 
we'll do the exact same thing if we're harvestable. I don't know if this is better than just making it two separate systems. Because uh, this is now one system that's getting extremely complex. Is this better to be two systems? It's a bit much. So, if what some harvest, harvest, do do need to fix this error, which now takes in a harvest. Option unknown. What are you not happy about? You're probably are happy, you just don't know it. Expected a tuple of three elements. Found one with four. Well, I disagree. Your query here it gives you four. Right? Hmm. Oh, I need to actually understand this now, don't I? Um because I think it's expecting three because of this return type, the map, right? Map into transform for that. So I think here, if I just add the fourth one, now what are you not happy about? Found one with five elements. Oh, now we're going down the rabbit hole. Ah, because here we have distance added to the mess. Okay. This expression. What? No, it's not. Oh, this is making my eyes. I'm going cross-eyed. And I guess that means that this is harvest. Ah, because all of this is what goes into that if what sum. Oh, how horrific. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's get rid of this nonsense now. And then, uh, Harvest count. Why don't we do a count? Oh, because you have to add item and count. So it's now uh, harvest dot item. I could probably just uh, vim substitute this, but I kind of want to be going for a careful eye. Drops and harvest drops. All right, let's just see. Does this work? Ah, uh, not at all. Well, we can pick these up. All right, so test objects. Uh, who are you? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you are. You're a sapling. You don't have a, a harvestable component on you though. Because I didn't ever give you it. So if what some harvest self as harvest, then I will insert harvest. Why in the world this, do things just work? It's always amazing. Okay, so we now have the distinction between pick up a bull and harvest, which is something I've wanted. Give me a second, I'm getting text messages. Okay. 
Um, good grief. Okay. What what all has changed in the world? Uh, renamed graphics. That's whatever. The crafting book. The tool. Deleted all the comments. Prelude. And then as harvest. All right. I think this is all one commit. Uh, I guess hands probably isn't finished yet. Uh, separated pick upable from harvest upable. Cool. And now you should only be able to harvest if your hands have the correct item. Are trees? Trees are not harvestable, but now they can be. So let's go and make trees harvestable. Adding a new item. Oh, they are. Oh. I see. Okay, I guess I never tried it. Um, adding a new item now has a lot of cruft on it. I'm getting a phone call I'm going to ignore. And I'm just going to see. Cool. She's going on vacation and she's checked in successfully. Um, okay. Sorry. I've lost my train of thought. So now the player, I need to query for the player's hands. Good grief. Hands. And tools are going to have durability on them at some point. Let's start out with hands. Okay, thankfully that's not part of that nightmare. Hands. So if... Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to make sure she's not having an emergency. She's not. She's trying to connect to Wi-Fi. So if if your hands have the tool you need, or the tool you need is none, then I'll let you harvest it. So if you can add and hmm. Let's just put an extra if here and then we'll simplify. If hands dot left dot equal equals uh, harvest dot tool required or harvest dot tool required dot is none. So if you have an axe in your hand, you're still allowed to, you know, pick up a tool. Yes, that actually probably goes in here because I don't want to print that error message. Now let's run. So I can pick that up, but I should not. I cannot pick up a tree. But if I give my player in their hands, how do you, how do I make the none a sum it's fine, I guess. Whatever. Uh, okay, let's do an equip and call it a day. Player equip. And this is going to take, to need room to mutate the player, or mutate the player's hands and the inventory. I'm probably going to need to do click detection. Do I have my mouse here? Oh, I do. Oh, and whoever updated this. Uh, oh, did it proper for me. Thank you. I guess that was the, the first pull request. 
So I need my mouse position resource. Oh, I actually wonder. Is this still... Oh, we still use this game camera tag that we uh, don't need anymore. I could remove that. So this sets up a mouse position component for us. Mouse position. Which is uh, mouse position. And I think that even runs in pre-update, right? Yeah, it does. So now I need to know if I'm clicking on an inventory item. Have I developed that technology yet? No. <sighs> what I did for crafting, and it wasn't hard. Yeah, I just check it for... Oh, for every crafting box. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, so I just need to get all of the, uh, the inventory boxes. Are those tied in? This feels all very object-oriented, or it's like screaming to become object-oriented. So an inventory box knows its slot number. So yeah, let's just get the inventory boxes. Um... So, inventory boxes, which is going to be a query for the transform and the inventory box. And then let's see if the player has clicked. On the inventory box. So I probably also need to get the mouse as an input. So the mouse as an input, I get by, whatever, I, I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, mouse position is separate, and mouse is input of type mouse button. And it's a resource. Okay, and so now, if mouse dot just pressed mouse button left, then I'm just gonna steal the code from crafting. Sure, and then for uh box or transform from a box uh, inv box in inventory boxes dot iter if I didn't click on it then oh can I do translation transform dot translation no uh, do 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 I have a, a global for the inventory box size? Probably. No. Am I a sociopath? What's wrong with me? Pixel size times 16. What determines your size, my friend? Are you actually just the size of the sprite? Hmm. Let me import this. Generate constant, okay. Crafting. You have a size. That is not used to actually create you. Uh, that's a bug. This has no real connection to the box size. However, it works. So I will 
steal it, but uh, fix me. Uh, this uses uh, magic number. Is there a better way? Okay, so we now have which box we've clicked on. If we clicked on a box, and then let's get the all right. Let's let's single out the player query. What uh, player? I don't actually need player. Mute inventory. Mute hands. In player query. Dot single mute. Uh, not in, just equal. Okay. And so now if you clicked on a box and that box is a tool, equip it. And take it out of your inventory. So if inventory thought what? What is inventory made out of? Items. Dot items at box or in box dot slot equals you have an item in count so I just need your item type dot item uh how do I do this if it equals any kind of tool if it matches a tool. Ah, okay. If let. So if let tool. Tool. Can you what is slot upset about? What? You you have slot, don't you? Need to be public? Everything is public on components. So instead, I think I need to do item type tool. Tool. So we now have the tool that we clicked on, if it was any. And then uh, inventory. Not remove item and count of item type tool. Okay, item is item type tool tool. And the count is one. What are you displeased with? Consider borrowing. Yeah, whatever. And then this uses, this has an error message, which you can probably expect away. But I said I would actually care about these. Um, so here, if it equals an error, then I call warn is the proper way to do this. Do, do, do. So I actually want to put all of this here. Delete you. Do that. Wonder if there's a way to do that with a macro. So we removed it from inventory and now we'll say hands dot left equals some tool and if hands dot left if let some tool equal hands dot left then I want to inventory dot give tool Is it add? Probably add. 
item and count tool. I need a helper function to turn to create an item and count of one. Like as item and type. So item is item type tool. Oh, dogs are moving again. And count is one. Let me out. Consider borrowing. I always will. And this, this returns an option of an inventory overflow. Uh, so if let sum overflow, then I probably want to actually warn about that. Warn, uh, let's see, what does this actually return? Come on, let me in. Uh, turns an inventory overflow, which is a use size. So if equals sum, then say warn uh, item was lost on unequip. And then, uh, mm, this should never, I guess this could happen. So if you have like two axes in your inventory, your inventory's full, you're holding a pickaxe, and you swap to an axe, you'll throw the inventory, the pickaxe on the ground. Oh, a cat has discovered me. So, uh, fix me. Uh, removing what, I can't type anymore. Removing what was in hand might uh, not be able to go back into inventory. It's a gameplay bug. And if what some, I don't want to do anything with that because the number will always just be one. And it's just going to could be telling me to do is some. So now, hello cat. If I click, please don't claw into me. Mm -mm. Go away. <laughs> I said please. Um, okay, sorry. Now I can debug. Now the cat's not climbing on me anymore. Ah, uh, what happened? So I got the twig. Got this. Crafted an axe. Uh, my clicking function is not a system. Hopefully next week I'll be back on a normal schedule and be in my own home and be able to get more done. This week's just been hectic. So I get twig, flint, axe. I can equip it. I can cut a tree down. I don't have a way to unequip it, do I? Hands. Oh, I can hit none. And now, I cannot cut tree down. How interesting. Okay. So why was that so hard for me to click on the axe? Okay, cat. Where is the hitbox to click on this axe? Does it need to be global transform? Oh, the cat's decided to move on to the desk now. I guess that's a much better place. Click. Ah, it is global transform. And now I can cut down trees. I don't have any graphic for it yet, but I've been going on for an hour and 15 minutes. I think we've made good progress, uh, and the cat has now decided to shake my entire desk. So 
I think this is where I'm going to wrap up today. Add tools and hands to player. Cool. I'm just going to push this and we'll call it a day. So overall, I'm very happy with what we got done. Uh, there's uh, the link to the GitHub in the description. Pro requests are always accepted. Um, cleanups, fix me's, all of it is very, very much appreciated. Thank you again to Sal for making beautiful graphics. <laughs> this cat. Um, and thank you for watching. I'm glad this has turned into a community project. And I think it's actually coming along quite nicely as a game with just a, a few hours a week. So I, I hope this was uh, entertaining, helpful, at least something to someone. And thank you for watching.